Okay, so today I'm going to talk about motivation and mindset. And this will be the first part in four, maybe five, um, where I'll be covering uh, this topic um, and kind of my take on it. Uh, motivation and mindset, these are kind of uh, slightly cringe inducing terms within the fitness industry. Um, probably because uh, kinds to be tends to uh, be a little bit shallow at times and kind of delving into kind of simplifying and making things uh, very crude and simplistic. And you know, you get these kind of uh, inspirational memes. Um, uh, where you've got a you know a picture of a, a, a sort of very um, attractive or, or shredded um, athlete or model accompanied with some like over the top quotes, and basically in short, that's not my approach to things. Um, it, it's very very different. And so on this first uh, part of this series, what I want to do is really establish. Uh, something that's a little bit deeper and a little bit more comprehensive and that's actually going to to translate into something that you can relate to, you can appreciate and value and actually use in a practical way uh, to, to, to genuinely make uh, changes that fit into, uh, you know, what you want to achieve in your lifestyle. So, you know, this is basically, uh, you know, the difference between this kind of high emotion motivation that a lot of people tend to rely on to to initially get their get their backside into gear, um, and uh, a deeper understanding of what your motivation actually is, and why you want to create uh, changes through achieving your goals, because that's what can be the real difference between actually sustaining um, efforts to change. Uh, your physique and your health and your lifestyle and so, something that's just a flash in the pan which is obviously a very common thing for a lot of people uh, where you get very very motivated really really up for everything uh, get your, your kind of emotions through the roof uh, and then you go full steam ahead and then obviously you know feelings come and go uh, this stuff kind of uh, exhausts itself it runs out and then because you haven't really made any fundamental changes to your your routine and your lifestyle in a sustainable way, you end up going back to the start. So I hope that makes sense. So what I want to really do is 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 to uh, ask you to think about things in a very specific way. And that is, you know, obviously you have set goals. You probably know what those goals are. Uh, if not, you want to establish those, but probably before that, you want to really establish exactly and specifically why you want to change things. And I don't mean in just a general kind of sense. A lot of people give very kind of generalized answers to these questions because it will make me feel good or because I want to, you know, look a bit better or feel a bit more confident. You need to get a little bit more specific than that and <clears throat> be a little bit more honest and it, and it might just be that you know you have a very uh, strong urge to create these changes but you haven't really sat down and thought about it constructively and picked it apart and verbalized it and I think that's a really really powerful process so that's what I want you to do I want you to really really think about exactly why you want to change and get very very specific about it and go through that thought process and then write it down so yeah, so some questions you would want to ask yourself. So the first one would be answering the question, why do I want to achieve my goals? You know, why am I here? Why am I, I now thinking about training and changing my diet, uh, losing fat, maybe building some muscle? Why specifically do I want to do that? So in order to help you answer that question and also as a continuation of that, you could ask yourself, what will you gain? What will you gain? And again, be specific. How will this affect your life? How will it benefit your life uh, to create these changes? What are the specific things that this is going to give you? 
um, in a practical sense, in a, a emotional sense, if you like, you know, your sense of well-being. It could be anything, you know, your day-to-day -day function, uh, for example, your patience and ability to do your work or to look after your kids. I'm, I'm not putting words in your mouth, but these are the sort of things that you need to be thinking about. Uh, the next thing would be what pain will you remove? And I know it, it, it might sound a bit negative, but you know you need to kind of think about the positive and the negative. What will you gain? What will you remove? What pain are you currently experiencing in your life as a result of not uh, achieving your goals or not being where you want to be? What pain is that actually creating? And again, be specific, you know, what will you remove um, as a result of achieving your goals? And then the next part of that would be, is the effort required to achieve the above, removing the pain and uh, uh, the things that you gain, is the effort required, is it worth it? And again, I can't put words into your mouth. You have to have these honest thought processes with your yourself. Only you can answer that. Is it worth it? So you've got, why do you want to achieve your goals? What will you gain? What pain will you remove? And is the effort required to achieve these things? Is it worth it? You need to answer these questions, you need to think about this and you need to, to verbalize it and be specific, get it written down. And I guarantee you, you know, the clarity that you will get from that will, will be very, very powerful. And hopefully you can see this type of approach towards motivation and mindset is a little bit different. It, it will actually feed into the practicalities of actually creating long-term change, which uh, is habit forming. It's, it's the process of creating new sustainable habits so that all the stuff that revolves around uh, optimizing your health and fitness, all the, the, the other aspects of it that you're looking to achieve, it just becomes like brushing your teeth. You know, it's not something that you have to get amped up for and, and motivated uh, to achieve. Okay, so over to you.